Hello, uh, once again, it's back to uh, big long ass, uh, long ass matches. This one's about 20 minutes. And let me adjust the size on this so I can see what's going on. Oh, there we are. And yeah, I started off with me getting dragged across the map. Uh, or dragging the other guy across the map, and he decided he wanted to stop here and build the uh, first prime, which uh, I didn't really feel that was necessary, but he latched back on. We're on our way. And I was lucky these guys and these uh, scorpions aren't being real attentive. And actually managed to drop the guy off there. I don't think we managed to cap there. The uh, tank killed him as usual. The tank is a huge defense against that. And uh, I probably should have done a little bit more to try to uh, dump him off in a sheltered spot while I took that tank out, but I don't think I even saw the tank until he got me, so that wasn't Attack very good. You want to be careful how you come in on those. You want to see the tank before he sees you, or the scorpion, or whatever it was. I was actually kind of more worried about the scorpions at that point, because I saw a couple of those. Leviathan under construction. I got, I got, uh, I got uh, pushed off to the side, and suddenly there was that tank, and that was all, that was about all there was to it. Well, I'm on defense here now. Uh, there's somebody, yeah, bars up in the tub there. That's good. It's always good to see somebody up in that turret. I'll get up there if there's no one else there. But it's nice to have someone in the turret and someone down here in the scorpion. That's a pretty good defense. Although sometimes the scorpion's a one-shot deal. And there I'm sitting there, I got the, uh, just got stuck there. I had the, uh, had the microphone going. Couldn't quite figure out how to turn it back off again. Uh, turret's empty again. I think maybe he got shot out of there, so. I'm gonna jump in there and take out some of these people. There's probably somebody lurking around. Oh, there's the tank coming up, coming over the hill. Look at that. A dumb thing for him to do. I think he's gonna drive around the side there. There's some guy lurking around the ridge line. There's that Leviathan tank again. He's trying to take shots at me from over there. That's not gonna work. Leviathan under construction. I've got the orb. Have to look around once in a while, make sure the orb's not trying to sneak up, which I think he will actually. Yeah, there you go. Another one trying to sneak over that ridge line. Ah, that guy's got the nuke. I don't think he's going to get anywhere with it. Yeah, I'm looking for that nuke. I don't think he's coming. There's someone getting a tow. I didn't see if he had the orb or not. I didn't see this guy come jumping up. I'm going to get out of here. This thing's getting real low. Yeah. This guy's looking kind of nimble, but we managed to take him down. Don't have a whole lot of defense left here. We're hoping something happens before uh, before uh, Red gets her shit together and brings the orb down here, because there's really not not much here to stop. Up oh, there he is. Yeah, you see. That's what happened. You can't dick around, man, because the enemy, you know, if, they, if they're if they're paying any attention whatsoever, they're gonna put some kind of effort out. So now we're stuck trying to take the the nose back. Fortunately, we're on that. Our orb is sitting at our base completely motionless. There's a levy incoming. So none of this is real good. I'm gonna manage to get a few shots in at this levy. Maybe we'll take them down. Let's see. Always try to target those side turrets. The levy has four turrets, one at each corner. If you're stuck having to shoot at the levy, the levy has a lot of hit points. Best thing to do is to shoot at those shoot at those turrets. Especially uh, if you can shoot from a side where there's nobody in the turret on that side, because then they can't return fire. The quicker you bring those turrets down in the corners, you bring, the quicker you can bring that levy down. I don't know if it actually makes a difference on how long it takes to bring the levy down as a whole, but one thing's for sure, if you take them turrets out, they can't shoot back at you, which helps a lot. So yeah, now, okay, another, another attempt to take our node back since it's gone one more time. And tried to dump the orb runner out there under cover so he wouldn't get killed immediately while I went out and dealt with the tank. But uh, I got I got bumped out into the open and the tank took me out or somebody took me out. 
and Barr there is going Attack to blame D for dumping him in the middle of nowhere, which that's uh, probably fair enough, but uh, I was trying to dump him undercover where he could hide for a few seconds while I took stuff out, but uh, it didn't work out, so that's the brakes. It's tough. I mean, I know what he's talking about, because that happens all the time. Oh, well, we're going to make another stab at it here. If the orb shows up. I mean, a lot goes wrong with that. Yeah, there he is. Next time, don't try to throw me in the mix. Right, the with, right. Yeah, they built their stopped. they built their node right after, uh, right before we got there, which wasn't so great. But yeah, I mean, the thing is, you know, you, you, when you got the orb, and you're getting towed like this. What you want to do is is drop is drop yourself. Oh, there he goes. He got dropped together. Somebody shooting at him. Just stay on. Well, we got rid of him anyway. I'm trying to cover for the guy. Still not working out. They got pretty good defense going on there. I don't think he's gonna make it there either. Yeah, I'm sitting here trying to justify myself to bar. Figuring, well, what the hell? We're probably gonna lose anyway. I might as well have a conversation. Yep. If you can't perform, you can always apologize. That's, that's, that's the secret to a long and happy life. Well, a short and apologetic life, maybe. I'm gonna wing that guy. Take him out. Let's see if we can take our node back here. I always like to take that turret out first, though. Might get a lucky shot on this guy, not that time. Oh, there we go. Get more going on here. They're, they're, they're hard to kill when they're up on that deck, but uh, we can take them out when they're on the ground there. If they screw up and get too close to the wall, you can hit them with splash damage. Oh, good lord, they got the tank back there. We're not, this is not good. Attack the miner. Yeah, so you can see they're defending very well. We're in bad shape here. Nobody scored on the on the, on the uh, core yet, though, so that's good. Uh, we're about to get some scoring on, no, maybe not. Yep, there we go. I don't even have an Avril. Well, what are you gonna do? Somebody else gonna get him before I get there. Yeah, take a quick swing around there. That guy got killed before I could uh, hang a left to get him, so. I have the ore. So what the heck, I figure, yeah, we're down to 67 points. We're probably gonna lose this. I'm just going forward. Let me attack. I could play defense, but why? All right. And I don't want to stop and go after that turret. I'm just going to go over here and uh, stand guard over this uh, over this uh, over this orb. I'm going to stop and kill this guy. He was sitting there trying to type something, no doubt. And uh, yeah, I can slow these guys down long enough to keep from getting that orb. Sure. I even kill one or two of them. And I'll just jump out of that thing and just start stingering people. So that slowed them down a little bit. They're not uh, they're not getting ready to take our node back right away. But there's nothing left here, so I'm just gonna back up a little bit, I think. Well, let me grab that Avril. got our tank back there, so we got some defense going. Is there anybody in the turret? I didn't see. I didn't look. It'd be nice if there was someone in the turret. No, there's no one in the turret. We probably don't even have the turret down there. And to grab those jump boots. I figure, well, we got defense back there. Let me go forward and try to work our way towards the other node here. Uh, a little bit of a fight going on, but it's not really going our way. No, this ain't going nowhere. And Red has another levy. And here it comes. There's someone in the in the tub, though. That's good. This is always a nice, helpful thing to do. If you see somebody there, you know, firing away for all he's worth, you can always stand back here and just uh, and continually heal him so he can so he can keep at it a few more seconds, because that, be, that might be what makes the difference. And Bars just informed us that uh, Red has the Deemer as well. So. 
Things are going beautifully as usual. And I'm out of link for the moment, so I'm just going to stand back. I'm going to jump in the Scorpion here and provide some more, uh, available. some more defense while we wait for Red to build their next levy. And here comes another one. I saw this uh, Manta sitting on the ground. I wanted to grab it because it's pretty good for using. It's pretty good for using on the levy, but uh, died almost immediately. Here they are attacking our node once again. And it's getting very desperate now, but we're going to repel this just barely. Alright, so, uh... Oh, good lord, here comes the bender, yeah. You think you got it under control, and then that guy drives around the corner. Well, it's typical. There's Flag X sitting there absolutely motionless. Which is what he did through most of this match, and the one before it. That's a bad habit you see people doing once in a while. You know, I, I don't know why they, I don't know why people do that. Probably they're just crashed. Usually that's what it is. Although I have known one or two people who are like, oh, I just join on there and just stand there in case I want to play later. You know. I don't want the I don't want the uh, I don't want the, the server to fill up and then I can't get on. So I'll just sit there and idle. Then I yell at them for that. So you bastard! You're screwing the team when you do that. Cause you're cause they're a man down and they don't even know it. Unless they have to notice you standing there. Okay. Well, we got our note back anyway. And uh, yeah, more defense with the bender this time. The bender's pretty good because you can lob the uh, the balls up over the over and get them on get them when they're standing on that platform there. I'm gonna run a forward and take this take these guys out. This is a little bit iffy. He could have got me here, but one more shot with the arrow would have did it. But uh, got the shock balls in position there. And I seen that the uh, the red note is down. And all those, although this thing is badly wounded, I rather, uh, I guess you could say that I'm running, I'm going a little bit faster here than I should because, you know, you turn around the corner and there's the tank that's waiting for you, so that's, there's nothing like prudence. Okay, so back on defense, this time in the tub, if I can get up there. And I'll just wait for Red to make their next assault. Here they, here they come with the Scorpion, he's not going to make it. I don't know what he saw. Okay, he's gonna he's gonna stay behind the trees and lob arrows at me. Okay, good. I just have to wait for him to pop out. Oh, got me that time. Just in time for Red's next levy to come out, but Red's next levy is headed for their node. Inexplicably, I guess they see our uh, our orb sitting over there and they're afraid we're gonna cap, which we did not. So presumably he's going to be turning around. Yeah, here he is. He's turning around and they're headed for the other node now. And the thing to do here would, if we can, we'd like to cap. This would be a really good time to do it. But the orb carrier is headed for uh, our node. Presumably uh, so that we can uh, reclaim it quickly if by some if by some miracle uh, we aren't all killed. And it looks like we might hang on to it. No, okay, yeah, the red note is actually down. Uh, so the hell with this, I'm going that way. Well, not quite yet, I'm not, because uh, I didn't. I wasn't really paying close enough attention. If I, if I took off maybe, I don't know, maybe five or 10 seconds sooner, that might've been a better time to do it. But uh, seeing as there's not a whole lot of red people around, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go after it anyway. Here's, here's a Manta gonna come and gonna give me a ride. And he's going to knock me off my board almost immediately. Defend the mine node. Yeah. So I'm going to blame that one on him. But now I should have held on for like a half a second uh, longer right there. And then I would have made that cap. And that would and that would have been much better off. So now it's looking a little bit more desperate. But we're going to manage to shoot down this levee. We're getting very good at shooting these levees down. Which is lucky for us. I guess we're getting a lot of practice at it because we're not doing it because we're doing nothing to prevent them from uh, being spawned over and over.
But we are, by the grace of God, hanging on to our note here. And we're still way behind in the score. Five minutes left in this match. And uh, been assuming for a long time here we're going to lose, but uh, I'm not going. I'm not going to. Well, you know, I mean, you know, you know, if, if, if we're we're hanging on pretty good, so I'd say we got a decent chance. I mean, these these matches turn around all the time. They're just knocked over the orb carrier. His buddy there is going to grab the orb and try to take it another few steps, but I'm going to take him out too. Under construction. Not always a really good idea to pick up the orb if you see it fall down in an area like that where there's a lot of enemy players hanging around. Because uh, chances are all you're going to do is uh, make that orb take longer to respawn back at the base where someone can pick it up and actually take it somewhere. You know, if it's sitting in a, in a very hostile area with a lot of enemy people around and you pick it up, Chances are you're going to die two seconds later, and now it's going to be another 10 seconds before that orb uh, disappears and respawns back at your base. So you're not necessarily doing your team a huge favor by picking that orb, no, by picking that orb up, unless unless you unless you know of a way to get it the hell out of there and cap with it or something. If all you're doing it is picking it up just to keep it moving another foot or two, not necessarily the best move you can make. Anyway, grab the purple thing because I thought I might have to uh, go up against that levee, but uh, the levee did not materialize. We managed to actually cap the mine node that time. So the purple thing timed out and I'm stuck once more on defense, this time with the tank. And our, uh, our node has once again died just short of the enemy node. Nope, he's moving, he's moving, he's moving. The enemy node is under fire and we've capped it. But have I noticed we've capped it? That's the other question. Not real sure about that. I do seem to be moving forward at the moment. Yeah, I'm moving forward. Yeah, I can tell we've capped it. I'm gonna take this guy out. There's another one across the way, but I assume that mana got him. Uh, Ritz uh, just barely managed to uh, touch their nose, but I'm going to knock it out again and continue my forward movement here. Try to get it to some kind of a position. Uh, this is not a real good position. I need to be a little bit more to the right. Try to get a couple more shots in here instead of getting under cover, which is what I should be doing. And now this wiseacre has gotten on top of the tank, which is uh, kind of inconvenient can't really shoot him up there. You could get out of the tank and shoot him, but if you do that and your tank has any health in it whatsoever, he can steal your tank when you do that. So ideally what you want to do is jump out of the tank when the, when the tank's health is as low as possible, but that's a little hard to time because uh, the tank's health could go down very fast. And you gotta have some pretty good reactions to jump out of that tank when the tank's health is low enough for it to be worth your while to get out, but not so low that you're going to die before you can get out. Difficult to do. Worth trying, if you think of it. But yeah, not really. And I'm going to stop here and I'm going to get a couple shots of that turret, but then, uh, yeah, the tank is a better target, isn't it? Yeah, I'd be better off shooting at the tank. And now I'm picking up return fire pretty quick, so I'm going to stop it take at least one guy out there. I'm going to drive over this ridge. I figure I've probably got a better position over here. Uh, tank's a little dangerous. I'm going to take, finish taking this turret out anyway in case somebody decides it's a good idea to get into that. Can't really shoot that much over here and I don't want to expose myself anymore so I'm going to help take out that uh, mine node over there so we can delay the red levy from coming in again. And that's going to get the attention of this uh, red vendor over this way, and I'm going to get into a fight with him. And he's gotten into his uh, rear turret, and I'm going to respond in the same likeness. And, uh, I'm going to jump out of here, knowing that I was going to lose that race and finish him off with a black cannon. So that worked out very well. And uh, I saw, I think the vendor came up at some point there, but I was a little occupied. I'm going to race back here and jump into this turret again. No, no. Red node is down once more, so I'm not going on defense. Uh, will not defend the node if it's, if it's shielded. There's no point. 
I'm gonna get on. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go on offense, or at least move up and defend the next guy. I don't like that when I'm. I don't like that when I see people defending a node that's shielded. I'm, I'm like, I yell at them. I'm like, why are you doing that? That node is shielded. No one can hit it anyway. You're wasting your time. You should go forward and, and defend the next node, or take the next node. Is this bar again? I hope it's bar. Yeah. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. And here's an example. It's very hard to resist the temptation to pick up that orb. <laughs> Even though you know you're gonna die almost immediately. That probably, that was not a great plan actually. I should have got undercover and you know, like opened fire on the node or something. That would have been a better thing to do. Oh, you know, you see that orb sitting there and you're like, I must grab the orb. I must. It is my destiny. No, it doesn't work. No, you're just gonna die. Leviathan okay, well, yeah, the red node is, uh, not fully capped. And, uh, I'm gonna run back here in case somebody grabs the orb, which they have, I think. Stopped. Yeah, somebody's got it. And we're gonna try to tow him in there. Let's see if we can make this one. That's Getty Lee's nose. Excellent name. You should all, yeah, good thing, yeah. Getty Lee's nose, that's, that's a pretty epic name, I'd say. All right, here we go. Hang a right, hope over the wall. And yeah, we've already got this thing capped anyway, so we're in good shape. Let's go over here and kill this guy. I think I'll get him. No, maybe not. Yeah, let me run away. Yeah, this guy will get me here. Yeah, all the same. Yeah, we pretty much got it at this point. Um, we're in overtime, we're still behind, but we've got their nodes, so if we can hang on to territory here, we should be able to, uh, we should be able to just, uh, just about, just about take this out. We jump down here and get at least one more kill, I think. Okay, there we go. And our orb is once again completely motionless. Let me run back there, and if, uh, if no one else has it by the time I get there, I'll pick it up and run it myself. Tanks available. Oh, we got another Manta over here. And he's going to pick up a ride with the other Manta. So I'm going to run over here and uh, I think I'm going to try to grab the Berserk. Yeah, it's available. Should be. And let me see what kind of trouble I can get to with that. Thinking I should probably go hit the uh, enemy node with it. If, if we let no, we're about to get capped here. No, no, we did make it. Okay, so let me uh, let me let me throw some rounds into the enemy tank here. And... Damn, he's taking a long time to die. I feel like I should have killed him already. Oh God, that Avril, uh, that Avril is just must have must have circled around me about 15 times before. I thought I was I thought I was gonna get away from that, but the tree, the I hit a tree. The tree was in the wrong place. Let me grab another man here. Somebody left that there for me. Leviathan available. Wonder if that tank's still Yeah, he's still there. Let me see if I can finish that tank off. Attack the enemy uh, didn't quite kill him, but he's gonna back up, so that's I'm gonna run up here where he can't hit me and uh, help finish off his nose. Oh god, now we got cap. Now we're screwed. Just had to try to kill that tank one more time. So you see, this is where this becomes a very exciting match, because it looked like we were going to win this just on the overtime. Now, now we've lost the map. So, yeah, it's become much more desperate. We've got a blue levy out there, which is really good, but uh, we got to take back the map, otherwise we're definitely going to lose it. So, yeah, we get the levy, we get the mat, uh, what is this vehicle on there? The Hellbender. Okay, there's our node. I'm gonna jump out and help heal it too because the uh, speed is of the essence. Turn around so I can make sure nobody tries to jump in there and steal it, which uh, probably wouldn't be much I could do about it if they did. Kind of risky, but this isn't really the time to be completely careful. All right, so we're halfway there. We're 16 to 22. Not gonna stop here and snipe. I'm gonna run forward. We need to take this note down like immediately. 
Let me get a whole bunch of shock balls in there and just take down everybody on top of the thing. There, him and him. Maybe one more guy. And then take that note down. 11 to 17, we can still do it. There we go. And there's the orb. And yeah, we got it. 10 to 15. Can just about make it. But I think we're going to get somebody running forward and hitting the note just to make sure. Hitting the core just to make sure. And now I will stop and defend. Yeah, there goes the... Yeah, oh God. They, they just got to run that levy up front, don't they? Completely pointless. They're just going to lose it. You know, they, well, once in a while they make it to the core with it, but the core is going to go down before they get there. So we got this load up. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, real nice match. Have a good evening.